the kitty bag of doom is back. It's time for Tuesday Reviews. Hi, I'm Deborah, also known as Doobage42, and today's edition of Reviews has to do with all stuff for the eyes. Stuff you put around the skin on your eyeball. See? Lots of it. Anyway, here we go. Ooh. This first little guy I've talked about before. Oh, look at the pretty. It is Stila. These are the Magnificent Metals eyeshadows. And I'm staying up close because I want you to see what this gorgeous color, color does when on top of some other eyeshadow. Wow. There is sparkle. There is shine. It's almost duochrome. And I love it. Yes, I can be a girly girl sometimes. I love glitter and I love shiny things. Now, this is a, uh, it's kind of pricey for a single eyeshadow because that's what this is, but it goes a long way and a little goes a long way. And it's kind of something special. They have a bunch of different colors. I'd love to get them all, but I'm trying to be practical, okay? It has a little applicator that's like a spongy applicator, almost like what you find on uh, liquid lipsticks. And I'm gonna do a little swipe right on my hand so you can see because I just have to. Holy smokes. That's gorgeous. Is it something you use every day? No, probably not. I don't usually wear glitter to work, or not a lot anyway. You know, sometimes a little bit. But it's fun, and it's really pretty, and it could be fun for one of those prom looks, or special occasions, or going to a festival, or you know what? It's a random Saturday. Let's just have some glitter. I really love these. I wish they were cheaper. Like 20 something dollars a tube. Yeah, you know me. I'm a bargain hunter. I don't like to spend a lot of money. But this color, this one that I have is called Sunset Cove. Oh my goodness. When it dry, it looks wet when it goes on. And it is. It's it's kind of a liquidish um, eyeshadow. But it does dry. When it dries down, this one's still not quite done. Um, it doesn't really budge. There's some fallout. Yes. It's glitter. Start with a good eyeshadow foundation, uh, eye primer, and I put eyeshadow on underneath it. Put some of this over it and use a setting spray. That all does help. You're still gonna have some glitter everywhere. I've worn this before and the next day I'm looking and I'm like, I have glitter all on the inside of my glasses. Hmm, I wonder how that happened. Of course, if you don't wear glasses, that's not nearly as much of a problem for you. All in all, Yes, love it, would buy it again, definitely recommend it. Oh, get it as a gift for somebody who really likes glittery stuff. They will love it, it's so much fun. The next things to come out of the kitty bag of doom are eyeliners. Now these two, they're little Sephora deals. I got them at the front of the store right as you go to check out. One is sort of a crayon and one is a pencil. The crayon one, not too bad. Doesn't, doesn't, isn't super pigmented or anything. It just, it is kind of fun. I got a light blue color because I love playing with colors like this. Now that's kind of nice. Is it super whammonine stay on all day, all night eyeliner? No, but I think it was like five bucks. It's not bad. It's a cute color. They have a bunch of colors up there. And yeah, I had to get it and play with it because, well, it's what I do. It also says it's waterproof. I've not tested that. No, I generally don't throw water on my face, you know, trying not to wash off eyeliner. The next one, also from Sephora, I wasn't as impressed with. I mean, it's not bad. It's a nice color. It, it does rub off kind of a bit, but I found it to be a little bit on the not so easy to put on side. The run that kind of rolls up a little bit and doesn't have to be sharpened as such, I find to be easier to wear, easier to put on. Am I mad at it? No. 
It was a nice price a different color than I would normally get because I'm normally a black or a brown eyeliner girl unless I'm just playing. And if I'm gonna play, I'm willing to spend just a little bit on uh, something fun like this. Yeah, check these out. There are also some that are pencil pencils. No, I don't like those. Those scratch when you put them on. This one, not so bad. This next one that I have to show you is just a sample. Yes, I love when Sephora gives you samples because you get to try stuff that you never would have tried otherwise. This one is the Urban Decay Razor Sharp Liquid Eyeliner. Yes, liquid. I am wearing it today because it even goes on well over the glitter stuff. Okay, have a look. Now, I'm not going to swatch this on my hand because I do not want to spend a half an hour scrubbing it off. This stuff stays put. It doesn't budge. It is waterproof. And when you finally do take it off with some eye makeup remover and stuff, it's almost like peeling off plastic. That's how well it stays on. So if you tend to have watery eyes, like I do, especially during allergy season, my eyes start to water a little bit. Not a lot, not like I'm crying, but just a little bit coming out in the corners. Usually your eyeliner just kind of goes blood, it washes off, and it's kind of gross. This stuff, will stay put through the apocalypse if the apocalypse is kind of wet. Yes, I'm going to buy a full size one of these. Thank you, Sephora, for the sample. Next out of the bag are kind of two items in one. First off, I've talked about items next to the register at Sephora before. Yes, they reel you in. This little guy isn't even available anymore. It's freaking adorable. It is called the Tarte High Performance Naturals Gallery Gals little paint can little thing to open the paint can with because when you first try to open it you really can't two little uh things of eyeliner and i'll show you the bigger version in a minute came with a little brush with the angle on it really cool i bought it i thought you know what for the price i can give something a try that i've never tried before and besides the packaging is adorable i keep it hung up on a little knob in my bathroom because i think it's so blasted cute now here is the real deal this stuff is also waterproof once it sets, but it has a blendable time, unlike the really liquid stuff. Now this, I, I bought it in black. I will eventually buy another one in the brown color. I just didn't want to buy both in one day because, you know, I've got it cheap. It comes with a brush, a plastic doohickey that uh, protects it. Kind of a stiffer brush, which is what you need. When you open this little guy up, keep it facing up because, well, it's kind of liquid-ish. I'm going to put the cap down. And I'm going to come in closer and show you the difference with this stuff. There you go. Once a little bit comes out, you coat the brush in it. In this little pan. This little pan up top lets you swirl around and mix it. And it doesn't take much. I've already put up enough to do both eyes, quite honestly. I will show you this, and yes, I'll be scrubbing for a while. You can do thick lines, you can do thin lines. And there is time to work with it. You see me kind of smearing that around there? But once it dries, it's set too. They have this only in a couple of colors. Um, the Urban Decay one, I think, comes in like 20 different colors. But this, especially if you're not used to working with a liquid liner might be a good one to try out. And here's why it might be a good one to try out. Let me come in closer and kind of show you. Take off the glasses so you can kind of see my eyeball. This little bent tipped brush here kind of bends over. They, yes, they did that on purpose, it's not broken. But it gives you a way you can kind of prop your finger on there and draw and you can get your other eye. The shape of it makes it a little bit interesting. It's like, okay, what is that? And why do I not have any brushes like this? But you dip it in, you control it, play around. Yes, it's something different. Um, I don't know how long these have been out. Probably a long time. I'm usually late to the game. But, oh, Kitty seems to be late to the game too. Hello, Oscar. But it's something kind of cool. I'm actually kind of loving this right now. And no, like I said, I'm not wearing it today. I wanted something that I was sure would go over the glitter and in my experience that Urban Decay had. 
And by the way, that sample, don't discount the samples from Sephora. That one I have used at least 10 times now to, on my eyes, trying it out, wearing it different days, wearing it to work all day, and there's still more in there. Yeah. So you know that a little goes a long way. That's something really good to learn about a product too before you go and buy it. But um, yeah, I got to try out something cool. So mm -hmm, sometimes Sephora is a bit expensive, but you can learn a lot about makeup and what you like and what you don't like. And sometimes there are dupes out in the drugstore world. A lot of good YouTubers put out videos about the dupes and stuff. I'm not a makeup artist. I just like to play with makeup. I enjoy it. It's fun. I love to wear it. I love to talk about it. I love to show it off, but I'm not a makeup artist. Some of these makeup artists will really show you what you can do with this stuff besides what I can. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed the reviews today. I do reviews on all kinds of things and places and experiences, mostly makeup, but sometimes some other stuff. Check them out over here. Also, please click subscribe before you go if you haven't already. And also, I'd love it if you hit the like button and leave me a comment. Have you tried any of these eye things before? What did you think? What's your favorite eye product for makeup? Always a lot of them out there. There's tons of eye makeup out there. Yeah, you could spend all day and all night and all next week trying them all. <laughs> See ya.